and Gabby. We're just your average couple with a passion for wildlife. Okay, or not so average. We're professional animal handlers living in South Florida. We work with dangerous animals on a daily basis. Nothing is off limits, and we never know what kind of crazy animal we're going to run into next. Join us as we explore, adventure, and travel to new and amazing places. Welcome to our wild world. So Chris and I rescued an alligator a few days ago. If you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen the pictures. It's an eight and a half foot gator. He is absolutely beautiful. And uh, we have some clips of the rescue that we wanted to share with you guys. Now, obviously both of us have our hands preoccupied while rescuing an alligator. We have to uh, focus on what we're doing. So it's pretty much impossible for us to record the entire thing. We did have some help from some of the neighbors and we did record a little bit ourselves, but we don't have the whole footage. So we wanted to fill you in on um, what happened and how we did it. So we'd already been to this location once before trying to find this alligator. We showed up and uh, we played the call box, which plays a little recording of a baby alligator. Nothing came. Uh, we wandered around. We didn't see anything. We waited around for like a half hour. No sign of the alligator. So we're like, okay, well, you know, that actually happens a lot. So we'll just come back another day and see if we can try again. So we come back another day, show up, do the same thing, play the call box, everything. No gator. Nothing. And we're looking around, we're looking around, we're like, oh, I, I don't know where this alligator is. And then across the lake, this lady lets her little two white fluffy dogs out and they're just barking their heads off in the backyard. And then here comes this gator immediately into frame. Out of nowhere. And Chris is like, oh, there he is. And he's just beelining towards the dog. The lady just goes running inside with the dogs. Um, and Chris and I are like, okay, let's try to get him on our side. So we're trying to get this alligator. We just went after a pair of uh, little white dogs on the other side a minute ago. So we're trying to call him over our way, see if we can get him. So then I was able to get him close enough to cast over him. Now the problem was he was about 15, 20 feet from the shore and there were these floating PVC pipes in like an X and the gator was like right behind it. I think he thought it was like maybe like well, security. Covered. Exactly. It's covered. But I knew I only had one shot. I was afraid he was going to leave and I wouldn't be able to get him. So I knew I had one chance. So I hooked him and then he got caught in the PVC pipe, immediately went down and got tangled, which I had a fear that was going to happen. Well, I hooked the alligator. He's on the line, but it's a really bad situation right now because he's tangled on this pipe. So he might just get right off and I might end up hooked on on the pipe. So I just have to see and yeah, wait and see I'm what happens. getting really hot and really tired. I'm just trying to wait it out and see if he'll get tired enough for us to bring him here and so Chris can use him. We had him for like 10 minutes. We're just trying to wait it out. Um, and then Chris goes in to noose him, sees the head, is about to noose him, and the gator starts death rolling and there's just a cloud and you can't see anything. So after it settled down, Chris went again to noose him and he's like, I see your hook and you're stuck in the PVC pipe, which is yep. exact, I knew that was gonna happen. Yep. But luckily, we were able to call him back over a second time after like 20 minutes. You mean I was able to play like a dog? Exactly. <laughs> and uh, the call box actually plays a dog barking recording also. And the homeowner, um, she was watching the whole thing. She recommended taking her chihuahua outside. And yep. that, that worked too. As soon as the gator saw and heard the chihuahua, there was like a fence so it couldn't get by the water. But as soon as that gator heard that chihuahua, he came right over like six feet from the shore so close that Chris almost was able to noose him. But we didn't want to do any sudden movements. We didn't want to spook him. Um, so eventually he did just slip right back down. Oh, 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 oh,
So I almost got the gator close enough to actually get him just with the noose, just by acting like a dog, but he figured me out at the last minute. He's like, ah, oh, something here doesn't look right, and he backed off. And then Gabby was able to cast on him again, and this time she got him. Yeah, so we uh, hooked him. I brought him closer to the shore. He was death rolling, tiring himself out. Chris was able to noose him, uh, and then both of us pulled him up together and secured him on land. How big is he? Eight? Over eight, I think. I know, that's why I'm like, uh, you want me to do it or you want to do it? See, the Everglades Outpost. Yeah, Sanctuary and Homestead. Okay. Is that enough? That's all my tape. Keep going until it runs dry. In the In Civic. Car. That's what I, was so, I saw you plus, and how were they put that alligator? Yeah, uh, we the put them in a Honda Civic. Is that enough for more? More? You want to do some eyes? Nah. No, he's good on jaws. Yeah, we're good. He's not open. Good job. Alright. We gotta measure him. That's a thick boy. Actually, is it a boy? Check That's a boy. It's a boy? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's why I bring him along. <laughs> So all in all, great rescue. Yeah, definitely. It was a really fun time. We were happy to be able to rescue this animal and uh, bring it down in the sanctuary. Yeah. And if you guys want to see more of our adventures, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate the support. And then you can also see us on Instagram, Gator Boys Chris, Gabby Nicole, and on Facebook as well, Chris Gillette.